All right, hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Draper with you. Bitwig Studio 2, a drum machine course. So we've gone through quite a few tutorials and hopefully I've given you some really good ideas and some maybe some information you didn't already know. So it was just designed to be a, a really good overview of working with the drum machine and and creating sounds and using it in a variety of different ways. So we primarily focused on percussion, but don't forget that you can add any of these techniques or any concept you want to any sound that you're using within Sampler. That's why I took so much time and a few tutorials within this course to really look at Sampler to help you get your mind around what it's capable of. And then the thought of having all these individual cells loaded with Sampler um, can let your uh, creative juices run wild, I suppose. But a couple uh, couple things to finish up the course. will be This will be the last tutorial that I wanted to look at was um, one, the power of mapping the macro knobs. So don't forget you have that option now in Bitwig Studio 2. It's quite unique. You can actually create your own device pages simply by, you know, adding a new device. Say if I wanted to work with this, you know, I could add a blank page here and just begin assigning the pitch and, and different things like that. So you can create your own device page right here and add your macros and then you'd have the power of you know manipulating specific pieces of audio and uh, you know specific elements of your effects so don't forget to kind of take time I'm actually going to put a course together uh, for Bitwig Studio 2 specifically on the macros so I don't really want to waste time here giving you all the details because I'll have a separate course to do that but just don't forget there are pa the power of macros that you can map individual elements out to your new device pages and things like that so let's close out of that and what do I want to like to say no all right so one of the most important features I think is specifically for percussion but you can use this little technique uh, in any way you like is the choked feature so Let's say um, a snare is hitting, but it's it's kind of overshadowing a hi-hat when a hi-hat comes in. I don't know if that's happening in this pattern, but let's... Yeah, a little bit. So when the snare hits, the closed hat is kind of coming on, but they're catching each other. So what you want to do is I'll go to the uh, snare, and I'll say right-click choke by I can either choke by targets and then I can pick whatever I want here I'm gonna choke by the uh, G1 open hi-hat so choke is referring to the fact that when one sound is being struck it's turning the previous sound off so I've I've decided to choke the snare by this hi-hat so when this hi-hat is activated the snare will shut off And we'll do it for our second layer as well. Now you're getting a, that nice clean change of uh, sounds as far as snare to hi-hat. But it's simply a right click and then you choose what target you want to choke or close off the previous sound, that sound when that sound is activated. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Pretty simple, pretty easy, right? So that is pretty much it for the drum machine course bitwig studio 2 this is dj vic paper i appreciate your time uh, hopefully uh, like i said it's a pretty straightforward easy course to follow i didn't want to go in too great a detail here and, and make it a course that's just convoluted with um, information that isn't important i just wanted to kind of keep it to the basics and you know look at what's necessary here to uh maybe get you thinking outside the box and seeing the power of the uh, drum machines built into Bitwig Studio 2. As always, thanks for pushing play. Thanks for tuning in. Share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we will see you and talk to you real soon. Peace.